from cnsnews.com. I, I got to like count out the zeros on this number before I can even say, okay, that's a million, that's a billion, that's a trillion. <laughs> Five trillion six hundred thirty billion eight hundred fifty nine million dollars federal spending has already set an annual record deficit at record again uh, two trillion eight hundred and seven billion two hundred ninety five million dollars. The federal government set records for the amount of money it spent and the size of the deficit it ran up in the first ten months of fiscal twenty twenty. October through July, according to data released today in the monthly treasury statement. And, you know, I, I just want to, I, like, why, why am I, why, why cover this story? It's sort of like, you knew that was happening. <laughs> surprise, surprise. American people are still getting screwed by government spending more than it has and putting us into debt and valuing the dollar and our savings and property. And uh, yeah, yeah, of course, you know, that. but to the people who said, oh, yeah, Trump is going to shrink the government. No, no, no. And I, I, I don't, when people are being like irrationally, emotionally attached to an incorrect position, you know, it, it doesn't help to, you know, make them more afraid of something or, or to tell them that they're wrong. And I, I, I wonder like, why am I, you know, do, do I want to berate the Trump supporters? Because I want them to give up hope and a false hope, like, I, I, and it's not just because it, 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 it swing. American voters seem to have a very short memory as the pendulum swings back and forth every four or eight years, as the puppet masters decide is best for the overall maintenance of the racket, right? Because they want the illusions. Uh, I think it was Ron Paul said, uh, you know, government is a racket and an illusion or. Uh, Elections are rigged and used to pacify the public. I, I hope our memory is getting better, right? And and, and maybe that's going to lead to the pendulum swinging a little bit faster and faster and faster, right? We, we, well, now nah, we know Trump didn't shrink government, but I, I, it's a weird position for me to be in as someone preaching love and hope and looking forward to say I want people to give up hope. But when it's a false open, it's a oh yeah. If we just if we just elect the right people, government's going to shrink. And I don't know. Maybe there's a better way, you know. And maybe just enough polite reminders. You know, hey, no, hey. Remember how you thought Trump was going to be different on this most major important point of slowing the growth of government? Yeah, no, didn't work. And, and you know, I told you. I, and it's like, how many times can I say I told you so before you're going to start listening? Right, I know this is this is a great libertarian dilemma. Every time something goes wrong in the news, you just you want to take your hand and be like, "Oh my God, if you would just listen to me when I was telling you years ago that you were going to have unintended consequences with this policy," if I I told you this was going to happen, and you didn't listen, you still don't listen, and you never will listen. What, what's going to change that? I don't know. Maybe this is the power of Socratic dialogue, right? Asking people questions, leading them to, to think they figured things out on their own. All right. So Donald Trump supporters, you, do you really think that he's still playing 4D chess? Can you really justify this? And when sometimes you ask those questions and they just get you know, more and more diluted, more and more stuck in their emotional positions. And it, you know, it, love and patience. And and again, I think the Socratic dialogue, the method of, you know, acknowledging that you can lead a horse to water, but you cannot make it drink. You can show a status the truth, but you cannot make them realize the futility of their ways. They are going to have to ultimately do that for themselves. And you just have to stake out your ground and hold your ground with love and truth and passion with no compromise and say, okay, statists, when you're ready, we'll be here for you. Hopefully that's a more positive way of winning people over, right? Honey versus vinegar. 